Hi guys, my name is Zaya. I'm a game developer currently working on my first Steam released game, Project Jude. In today's video, however, I am going to be talking about game balancing, in particular reviewing a product that supposedly can make this process super easy, Machinations. Now this video is sponsored by Machinations, however I have been advised to give my own opinion about the product, which I will. Along the way, I will also go over what balancing is and why it is vital to end game. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so what is game balancing? To put it short, it's the process of making a game more enjoyable, by adjusting certain aspects to create an intended experience. An example of this is making a game that isn't too difficult or too easy. That way the player has some challenge in the game, but also isn't getting overly frustrated about it. Now the reason we balance our games is pretty straightforward. It creates a better experience for our player, which is super important as they are our audience, which we want to please. So what is Machinations and how can it help? Well, essentially Machinations is the game balancing platform in which you can map your entire game. You can then run simulations to balance certain parameters that you set yourself. Now you will be able to rapidly prototype your game without writing any code and it will allow you to get laser focused clarity. This all together will balance your player's experience. Okay, so let's dive into the product and see what exactly it does. Starting off, Machinations is fully cloud slash browser based essentially meaning it's all online. Now this means you don't have to install anything, however an internet connection is required. How much does it cost? Well for now it's free but I'll get into that in a moment. Now from the get go you can see it's a flowchart logic based application for designing game workflows. Now this is a super simple workflow that I made in a few minutes. Now what it does is it stimulates the percentage chance of my AI dodging or not. If I run it, it will send resources from this source right here, which is the AI, to these pools that I created, which is either dodge or no dodge. And depending on the percentage that I gave it, which in this case is 60 and 20%, a different outcome will occur. So let's go ahead and increase this to maybe 40%. Okay, so now I'm gonna run it again, now that I've set it to 60% and 40%. So let's just go ahead and press run. Let's set the speed to 0.1, so it's a lot faster and we don't have to really wait that long. Okay, so after 50 steps, we can see that our 50 times it, dod it didn't dodge 31 and 24 has been dodged. So this is super useful because I can now see if I want to increase the dodge percentage chance or decrease it. And then instead of having to run this within my game and run my game multiple times, I can just do this in here and it takes like a few minutes just to change it around. So this is a super simple program that I made. And one thing that really kind of shocked me is if you want to set a sort of condition, you do it actually on the label. You don't have to do it anywhere else. Okay, so just as a quick overview of the kind of application itself, on the left we have the different tools, essentially like the toolbar, at the bottom we have a timeline, and on the right we have our properties. Now obviously this can be kind of confusing if you're doing this the first time, I didn't really know what I was doing either, so a pretty cool thing that machinations have are templates and tutorials. Starting off with tutorials, they have seven in total. I followed all of them and now I have a pretty decent understanding of how it works. Essentially, I can press open and this will open up a little tutorial. This goes through the steps and what each node is. Now each tutorial will go over different steps, different nodes and how those things work. Also, if you want to open the next tutorial, all you have to do is click this little button, which is pretty cool. I will say one thing, the text is also kind of organized into small sections, so it's easy to read. However, I wished it was slightly more intuitive than just this. Within the tutorials, they also have templates. If I go ahead and click them right here, I can scroll through hundreds of templates that they have created or other users have. For example, there's a bunch of games like RimWorld, Stardew Valley, Fate Grand Order, Pac-Man and so on. If I want to open it up, I can and I can just look how things are made and then use those things as well. Now I will show you another example of a little bit more of a complicated program. So let's open up this League of Legends Hextech chest system. Okay, so now that we have this program open, as you can see, this one's a lot more complicated than the simple one that I made. Let's run it so you guys can see how it's going to run. So this is 300 steps right now, and this is going to be at 0.5 speed, but I'm probably going to change it to 0.1 so it's a lot faster. So let's run this and see how many kind of things we're going to get. I'll be back once this is run. Okay, so from the get-go, you can see this chart is actually moving. This is because they have different nodes. So here we have a pool for champion shards, a mode towards summoner or total skins. And as you can see, the chart is currently only being filled with champions um, and the total skins. There isn't any of these kind of rarer items just yet. 
if we keep running this though we will be able to see what sort of skins we're getting from right now we're not actually getting any of um, these emotes ward skins and summoner icons this is super useful because i can then see whether in my game i need to increase this chance or decrease it depending on how rare i want to keep it okay so another thing that i'm going to mention is libraries now the cool thing is that machinations actually allows you to have different types of libraries such as public and private now what this is is essentially once you make yourself a, for example, a function like they have here, you can add it to your private library. This means that if you want to reuse this template in any of your other programs, you can just drag and drop it in without having to recreate it again, which is super useful. They also have a public domain for that, where you can essentially search a repository of ready-made subsystems and then just drag and drop them onto your canvas to get you started. Another feature that they have told me to sort of go over is the multiple run system. As you saw from the other clips, it can take quite a lot of time to just run through one system, especially if it's super complicated and especially if you want many steps. Now the thing is, this quick run essentially adds plots to the results of hundreds or thousands of plays. This means you don't have to run your game thousands of times, but the machinations will do this all for you. And it's all laid out in a chart. You were able to see this kind of run history in the League of Legends one that we did. It's just going to do this super quickly and you'll be able to see it in the chart which is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's talk about pricing plans because that's kind of a main important aspect of this program. A lot of people might be worried, how much does this cost? Well, we're gonna go one by one. Firstly, we have the free license. Now, this isn't a free trial like many applications have it where it's like seven days, 14 days, whatever. You, this is free forever. However, there is a limited usage of things that you're allowed to use. First of all, we have one editor, one API and Unity plugin, and only three days of version history. Because this is free, I only get a limited usage. So just to show you right here, I only have 3000 components that are free. 3000 components might seem like a lot, but it isn't that much if you're going to be using this very often. Then we have the Indie, which is apparently the most popular one. Now this is light usage and it's kind of like a monthly slash team based one. It is $60, which is expensive. If you are a single indie developer, at least um, if I was trying to purchase this, I know that I would not be able to pay $60 a month. However, if you have a team of maybe like six people or 10 people, it's definitely doable to play 10 bucks for it. Now in here, everything is free. You have unlimited editors. Instead of three days, you have a 30 day version history. There's live editing, team folders, team library and priority support. Then we have the studio, which goes for $300, which is a lot. But once again, it's a studio and it would probably go out of the studio's budget. At this point, you will probably have a pretty hefty team. So you wouldn't really be paying this as a worker. You have everything that has been featured in the indie package, as well as higher usage quotes, and you get 180 days of history, higher priority support, customer success, import from GDD and account manager, and a bunch of other stuff referenced down below here. Finally, we have the AAA, which is unlimited usage. It is $1,500. This is a lot of money, but once again, if you're a AAA company, this isn't going to be much to you at all. Once again, everything mentioned in studio is in this. You get unlimited quotas unlimited history and one day priority support. You also get a private cloud system and payment by invoice and a bunch of this other stuff down here, which is mentioned. Now, if I were to use this, obviously use the free kind of one first and see if this is something for you. If it is, then I would probably go for the indie one because it's the cheapest option and you get quite a lot of stuff in it as well. Obviously, if you have the budget, studio and all of the other ones will be more useful. But once again, it depends on how much you're using machinations. Okay, so that's essentially the machinations product. My final thoughts are it's actually pretty good, especially because it's free to sign up straight away. I could definitely see myself using this for my game. Generally speaking as well, I know you can spend a lot of hours on balancing your game and trying to prototype it. This genuinely makes it super easy and simple to do because it's all done online and you don't have to download anything and it's all done super simply and quickly, which is something that I definitely like about it. One thing that I do have to mention, the API integration isn't great. Right now, it's only integrated with Unity. They say they are working on Unreal Engine, Godot and GameMaker. So I hope that does come in. This will definitely broaden the kind of horizon for other people to use it as well. Okay guys, so this is the end of the review. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out Machinations down below. It's free to sign up straight away right now to test it out. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, thank you so much to our Patreons. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.